Okay, I finished with the pillars now, uh, as you can see there. So there's one last thing we can do in MC Edit, and that is change the color of this gray wool to match the blue line wool that you can see over there. So to do this, we need to simply select the whole station. Um, and start from down here, and then drag it over here. So actually, yeah, I need to increase the height of this box, so let's do that. Okay, now you have this, nope, now I don't have the whole station selected, unfortunately. Got that up there. Okay, so I have the whole station selected. I'm going to use the Fill Replace tool. Now, I'm not going to use the Fill tool. I'm going to just push OK there. And I'm just going to click Replace. It'll ask me what I want to replace, what I want, what I want to place to. So, in this case, it'll be blue wool. And what I'm replacing is gray wool. So, click, I'll click this one, the top one here, and switch for gray wool. There it is. Okay, and once I'm ready to go, I'll hit replace. And there we go. We have a blue line station. Alright, so here we are back in Minecraft. In the meantime, I filled in the dirt hole, so we have now some stairs going up to the entrance of the station. Now, the last thing we need to do for the station is commission it. And that's a fancy word for basically making the station make preparing the station to be ready for service. Uh, there are two things we need to do here. The first thing is rename all the signs in the station so it, it all actually reflects where, where we are. So, uh, for the, the MC Edit template, I use foobar station uh, to indicate it's a default, but I'm going to change this here to Planet Crossing Station. I'm going to have to change this uh, naming sign in all the other different locations, such as entrances or on the station platform itself. So I'm going to open that. Door. Also, you can use any sort of sign naming scheme you want. Uh, for this case, I want to, in the front of the doors here, I want to say, tell passengers uh, where this uh, platform goes for. So I'm going to say northbound for harbor front, and harbor front being the north end of my, the north terminus of my line here. So that's good. Northbound, oh, I can probably do this one too. I think, yeah, so I think you get the idea. I'm going to rename these things as well later, so I won't bore you with that sort of thing. Alright, so also you want to check the uh, ends of your track so that so uh, in the schematic I put in a gold line of bricks here that indicates uh, which side which side of the station you're on the south in this case it's the south side this helps uh, align your station in case you uh, somehow import your schematic improperly but you can safely just remove these gold blocks and then uh, eventually uh, you will extend the line here uh, also you also testing, you can test the arrival uh, mechanism. Yeah, that seems to be working. Uh, turn it off here. So when you hit that pressure pad, this light should turn off, allowing other carts to pass by. Uh, you can test out the arrival section by standing on just the wooden plate, and if the cart moves around, you have success. So I'll do that one again. Yep, and uh, this one too seems to be in functioning order and also the cart request mechanism mm, seems to be good and that booster is also working as well okay so uh, that's you can test as much as you like it should be pretty obvious oh and one last thing uh, make sure to connect the tracks to the line because there's a little gap here just gonna do that and that and I think we are ready to go. Alright, so uh, that concludes my tutorial. Uh, if you have any further questions or comments, please feel free to leave a comment in the YouTube video. Um, so, yeah, thanks for watching, and I hope to see more of these stations in your world pretty soon.